My dear Frodo, you asked me once if I had told you everything there was to know about my adventures. And while I can honestly say I have told you the truth, I may not have told you all of it. Mithrandir, why the halfling? I cannot guarantee his safety, nor will I be responsible for his fate. I have never used a sword in my life. And I hope you never have to. Saruman believes that it is only a great power that can hold evil in check. But that is not what I have found. True courage is about knowing not when to take a life, but when to spare one. I know that dwarves can be obstinate and pig-headed and difficult, but they are also brave and kind and loyal to a fault. Will not risk this quest for the life of one burglar. Bilbo. His name is Bilbo. I found it is the small things. Everyday deeds of ordinary folk that keeps the darkness at bay. I know you doubt me. I know, I, know, I know you always have. And you're right, I often think of Bag End. See, that's where I belong. That's home. And that's why I came back. You don't have one. A home. It was taken from me. But I will help you take it back if I can. Simple acts of kindness and love. Why do no baggage? Perhaps it is because I'm afraid. But it gives me courage. You are changed, Thorin. The dwarf I met in Bag End would never have gone back on his word. Would never have doubted the loyalty of his kin. Loyalty. Since when will we forsake our own people? I will not hide behind a wall of stone while others fight our battles for us! I wish to part from you in front of you. You're not going anywhere, Thorin. You're going to live. I'm so sorry. Well, that I have led you into such peril. I'm glad to have shared in your battles, Thorin. Each and every one of them. It is far more than any Baggins deserves. Farewell, Master Burglar. If more people valued all above gold, this world would be a merry place. Any chance of seeing that old ring of mine again? I thought of an ending for my book. And he lived happily ever after. To the end of his days. <laughs>